Makeup to die for. Makeup that I'd die for. Makeup that they'd have to pry out of my cold, dead hands. This is a video all about the makeup that I use constantly and I will never be without. If it got lost, I would turn around and I would repurchase it again immediately, ride or die, whatever you wanna call it, the best of the best, this is all it. But these are the products that I think are the cream of the crop and you're gonna to get to watch me put them on my face right now. Hi friends, I thought up this concept last night and I thought there would be makeup like this and I would be gripping it and there would be no way that they would be able to get it out of my hands unless they shoot me. <laughs> I don't think it's that drastic, but this is makeup that I adore and I am going to show you how I put it on and I'm also going to explain to you the features of it that I think are so phenomenal and the reason that I love them and you're going to get to see me do this look on my 52 year old face. So stay tuned for that. We're going to get into the makeup that they'll have to pry from my cold, dead hands to get it away from me right now. Prying makeup from my cold, dead hands. I thought that was a really fun title because, you know, there are certain things that you just have to keep around and you use like crazy. Let's start off with primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You either love it or you hate it. I love it and I think it's great. And I put this around my pores especially and I really take time to press it in. It has a slip to it that you can tell that there is a silicone in there that will fill those pores. And then it also has a tiny bit of hydration that I can feel. It sinks into the skin and kind of just makes your makeup look flawless. Okay, next thing that I do each time is Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in every single video that I do a get ready with me with you guys. It just simply is a fantastic eyeshadow primer. It is very opaque and a tiny, tiny bit goes a long way. I first had the mini size. This was a sample size. I think I got this from Sephora and it's just a little sample size that I know is going to last me probably for a year because the little mini size that I had seemed to last me like two years, two and a half years, something like that. It completely blurs out any veining. I have lots of veining on my eyes. I need to grab a mirror here. And it is fantastic at gripping the eyeshadow. And this again, primer on your eyes, eyeshadow primer, it again will create a barrier between any sweating that you do. And if it's a good one, I try really hard not to get that down under my eyes but I did a little bit there. Okay, Wet n Wild made my favorite waterline liner that was a, eye, a eyebrow pencil, but they discontinued it as all do. And this is from Flower Beauty. I believe this is called Eye Brighten or something like that. I know that CVS is now ca uh, carrying Flower Beauty and I know that they are also on Ulta. This brightens up that area because again, the redness that your eyes show can all a lot of times be in that inner rim. So this helps brighten that up, keep that area really bright. This one from Flower Beauty stays on a long time and it grips really well in the waterline. I would say that if I was going to reapply it, I wouldn't have to reapply it for three or four hours. Nothing in the waterline stays forever because it is water. It's constantly fleshing out what's in there. I have my very favorite color corrector that I found like two months ago. This is absolutely fantastic. I was using a higher end one, but why use a higher end one when you can get one at this price point? However, every time everybody goes to get this, it is sold out, which is a huge bummer to me. So I brought in two for, for you so that you can see, because if I ever lose this one, I'll go to the Catrice. So this is Pixie Beauty. This is their color corrector. And this is the Catrice Camouflage. And I think this is called Wake Up Effect or something like that. They're almost identical. I believe the Catrice might be a little bit more stiff than the Pixie Beauty. Just a little bit, um, not too bad. I think that it's probably just one one that you have to kind of warm up with your fingers a little bit. And I use this very liberally, but I make sure that it is blended in. I don't want cakiness. And that's when you get cakiness is really truly when you don't blend in these products. Got that elf in my hair, folks. Okay, and we're just gonna go across here. And I just dot my age spots. All right, so that side's the Catrice. And then I'll do the other side 
with the pixie i don't know if you can see or not but it is a little bit darker than the the catrice one i love it it is my perfect perfect color such a good product i absolutely love it all right now if you haven't seen my foundation video i've said this a million times i do my foundation differently now because it just works so much better and the reason being is mr wayne goss the makeup god of all makeup artists <laughs> is the one that turned me on to this. So big fluffy brush from e.l.f. And this is the Can Make Powder off of Amazon. And this is a lavender powder. And again, I've had this for about two months and I have not put this down. It is fantastic for my skin. And what it does is it brightens up. So I'm pretty liberal about this part of the powder. I'm gonna pick up quite a bit of powder on there. I will tap it off so I don't get just powder on caked, but I'm gonna go into these parts right here that are my pores, the parts that break through around my nose, throughout my chin, and across my T-zone where I get so much break apart. And then I'm just gonna dust it all over everywhere. And then I'm gonna stipple in these areas, not using more powder, just the powder I already have on there. Because now those pores are going to just look flawless. You are going to have beautiful skin after you do your foundation. My favorite eyeshadow palette of all time is the Sydney Grace Enduring Love. I never thought that I would be this hooked on a palette that was higher end but I am. This is so well put together. And if you haven't had a chance to see this, it is one of those palettes that just has something for everybody. It's a very neutral palette leaning towards cool, which is why I love it. The formula in here is phenomenal. The mattes are the best mattes I've ever worked with as far as the blendability and creaminess and how good they stay on your eyes and also the metallics do not show texture like on my lids or anything like that i'm in love with this palette it is definitely a palette that i just think is bar none superior beautiful quality and yeah it is it is a stunner when i started to think about what i was going to do as far as you can't pry that out of my cold dead hands it was this palette that kind of inspired that because if I could get rid of all my other palettes, I probably would maybe not LA Girl, those 16 pan palettes. I adore those palettes, but this is one that I wouldn't let anybody touch. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm gonna do a pretty neutral eye look today. A Little bit of bling on the eyelid, but I'm doing a pretty neutral look today. I wanna to do a little bit more stark with my lips. So we're gonna just do this transition color. All right, one of my favorite colors in here. I actually love all of these metallics in here. And I'm gonna do just a little pop so you guys can see how gorgeous the metallics are. Look at that, oh my word. I use a spray, a setting spray on my finger, just like so, to go across the eyelids and put that down onto the eyelids because it will stay and it helps it to not have any sort of texture it just works so well look at that color isn't that just stunning it's so metallic and so pretty and that's going to bring so much light to my eye camera wasn't on okay i went down into this neutral brown color right here and i'm going to do the outer v so i'll do that on the other eye so you can see placing most of the color right there wiggling that color in and then starting to come over in the crease not all the way and then pushing it up towards the tail of the eyebrow those shadows truly are such a dream okay foundation we're to that point this is the number seven lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation yes this is the foundation and that if i had to reach for a foundation this would be the foundation i would reach for every day and i would have in my makeup kit every single day now keep in mind i have like 30 some foundations, but this is it. I mean, over my high-end ones, over all of them. Now this is a perfect color for me. This is called Cool Ivory and it does lean very cool. So it has that bit of pink in it. It is just, it's a perfect color for me. And 
I learned something from Wayne Goss very recently as well if you have dry skin that you probably shouldn't be putting your foundation on with a brush. He said even his brushes as soft as they are they can do some micro exfoliating and I most definitely have very dry skin. So even though I moisturize like crazy this is going to be my preferred method because I don't need any micro exfoliating through the day because then your makeup will look less seamless and you will through the day end up having it look a little bit flaky so if you're normal to dry maybe keep that in mind and can you guys see how amazing and beautiful this coverage is the other thing is that because it is a serum foundation it's very light it covers like a dream it does not show up texture on my large pores and i I just love this stuff. It is one of those foundations that the very first time I used it, I was terribly impressed. And then every time after, it's just amazing as far as its wear time. It lasts all day. I don't have it break apart. Using this method where I put the powder on first has been a lifesaver. It is just gorgeous. For concealer, I actually have two because this is the point where I just cannot find the perfect concealer. So I, they're actually both from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro and then Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Hydrate that they came out with. And I think mine is in C7. And then this one is in C6. And this is their uh, ultimate coverage, crease proof concealer. What's interesting is this is uber, uber, uber creamy. Like the It Bye Bye Under Eye, it's that creamy. So if you have used that before, you hated it because it creased, I get ya. Part of that is because you don't need more than an inf infinitesimal teeny tiny amount. I mean, I am using less than a teeny tiny amount because I'm going to be doing it on both eyes and I'm going to be mixing it with this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot of this on my other finger right here. That was a little bit more even than I wanted to do, but that's what came out. And then I'm going to put the two together. And I'm going to continue to rub these two together until I feel them kind of mesh together. It's getting warm in my finger. And right now, see how much is on my fingers? Too much, 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 much too much. So I'm gonna apply it with this finger. I'm gonna dot it here. Whoops, gonna dot it here, dot it here, dot it here. And then I'm gonna take a clean finger and I'm going to buff it out. So I am using the very least amount that I could possibly use of that and I am going to spend some time doing this. This concealer will cover, and because I mixed it with the other, it's going to set down nicely. It is going to be just a tiny bit emollient if you're dry under your eyes. So if you're somebody that really has, you know, sweating problems or you have a lot of creasing problems under there, go for the infinite one for Makeup Revolution or go from the, for the regular one. Before it has time to crease at all, I'm going to go in with my favorite setting spray. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Setting Spray. Yes, this is my favorite. I've had this for about six months. I think it's just special. It's really good. There are others at the drugstore, but I haven't found a dead on dupe for this yet because this has little pore refining polymers in it that help a lot and it just, it works so good. So instead of using powder underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use this setting spray that is beautiful. I spray it on my brush, that way there's no waste. I'm gonna start right here around my nose and I'm going to use very light pressure. And this setting spray makes everything look flawless and beautiful. It works so good. I just love this technique and I love that setting spray. Now I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up some of this warm brown color. I'm gonna mix it with the cool brown color and I'm going to make my eyeliner with it. And I'm sticking out here at the outside and I am just going to buff this and get the two to connect. I do have a video on the singles that I bought from Sydney Grace and I will make sure I put that below, but this is a gorgeous palette. I do ha also have a seven looks one palette video for that palette as well. So I'll make sure I link that one for you too. All right, brows. 
the easiest brow product that I have ever found and the most effective is from e.l.f. This one is a neutral brown. I choose a little bit of a darker color because my eyebrows are normally a little bit darker. So I'm just going to brush this through my eyebrows. It's super easy to use and um, I'm not going to spend the whole time talking about this because my eyebrows are not the easiest thing for me to do, but I will just brush this through my natural hair and then I will come back and I will talk to you about it a little bit After I've brushed that through my existing hair. I go in with this very inexpensive elf pencil I love this little thing if you guys haven't tried this. It's really good So all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go into the the parts that I feel like were just a little bit sparse And I'm just going to give them a little bit of extra love Know that I've said this before, but my eyebrows are sisters. They're not twins. And apparently today they hate each other. <laughs> Eyebrows are probably the hardest thing for me to do as far as makeup goes. I also have a video on my very favorite, favorite mascara. This mascara from Essence, the 24 Ever Bold Volume Mascara, lovely. Go watch the video. You won't believe what it does to the eye, to the eyelashes. And then from e.l.f., this is their H2O liner. Waterproof, super black, stays on so good. And this is where my hands are going to get really shaky and everybody's going to go, whoa. It gets really kind of scary at this point because it's like I'm about to poke myself in the eye. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I'm going to take two times to curl this eyelash right here. And then I'm gonna go in, I work on one eye at a time, I don't do both eyes, and I'm gonna go in with this liner. I'm gonna steady my hand, I'm gonna go in as tight as I possibly can, and I'm going to just get the very, very bottom of the lashes, or the very, very base of the lashes. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put two coats of this mascara on. There is the wand, it's slightly curved. It is not a natural bristle brush, it is a plastic one. And then I will be right back with you after I do my eyelashes. And I forgot to tell you about the Benefit They're Real. This is the mascara that I use on my bottom lash line because it doesn't smudge at all. And it catches every single solitary little lash it has little barbs on the end that catches those lashes and take a look at those lashes they are crazy long i do have that video all about my lashes and also about a serum that i use on them that gives them this great length the rest of these products are probably not going to be much of a surprise to you because i talk about them all the time from sephora second chance is the color and this is a single pot and yes this is 14 dollars, but i feel like this will last you the first one that i had probably lasted me three years or longer and i use it every single time i do my contour. I love this. Now I'm just using a stipple brush that I got from Luxie and this is the perfect muddy, perfect muddy color to do the carving out of a cheekbone or along the gel line. Creamy and it is just so muddy and so pretty. I love it. And it is gorgeous for making those shadows instead of any warmth whatsoever. And it's just been my ride or die for years and years and I can't be without it. Gorgeous powder, perfect color. What more could you ask for? And then for my bronzer, I use the Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer and this is in the color 02. The reason that I love this color and the reason that I choose this is because it is not too orange. It's still got a lot of warmth in it and it's still going to make you look really pretty and it's going to give you a lot of light to your skin, but it's not going to overwhelm you as far as going to orange or oompa loompa have a video on that too this does have kind of a fun scent to it this is a very silky silky bronzer so if you don't like fragrance it does have a little bit of a coconutty vanilla scent to it so keep that in mind it is extremely easy to blend um, it's just one of those ones that i just I talk about it constantly whenever I'm talking about makeup that I use over and over again or certain things from certain brands that are just beautiful. Go right over top of what you just did for your contour and you're going to be able to blend it and it's going to look so seamless if it goes over top of that. Beautiful, 
beautiful powders, both of those. Been watching me for any time at all, you know that I put on my highlighter before I put on my blush. We're gonna do that today. The highlighter that I could not live without is from Wet n Wild. And this is called the To Reflect Palette. The reason that it's called the palette, I assume, is just because the pan is so big. But this is a gorgeous highlighter. I mean, honestly, it's not terribly high beam. It gives a very subtle, soft glow. So just the high points as usual. Look at it, isn't it pretty? No texture, no glitter, just a soft, warm glow. So beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my finger, put it in my Cupid's bow right there. All right, talk to me about a blush and my very favorite blush of all time is the Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in prenup. This is my perfect shade. Kicked the stand of my camera. <laughs> this is the perfect shade. It is gorgeous on my skin. I can't say enough about it. Oh my goodness. I have a backup of this and yeah, I am never, ever, ever going to be without this. And if they decide to cancel it, I'm going to beg them over and over again not to. Okay, stipple brush. The formula is very creamy and goes from cream to powder and it is beautiful. Love this stuff. Look how pretty that looks over top of that highlighter. Oh wow, it's so gorgeous. Oh man, it is just my favorite. They have all different colors. You don't have to go with this pink color. This is just a perfect cool color for me and I'm probably getting a little carried away. Now, as I'm turning, I don't think that I need more highlighter under that. It's just the perfect amount of highlighters. This is the cream product that kind of started cream products. Everybody's after a cream product right now. This is a cream to powder formula that hugs the cheeks and is there all day. And what a gorgeous flush it does give to the cheeks. So beautiful. Before we get into the lips though, I do want to go into my palette here and brighten up my inner corner of my eyes. And I'm gonna take this beautiful pink color here. It does have a little bit of a satin in it, but it's more along the lines of just glow. And I'm going to just place that down in the corners there. And I just noticed that I have a little dot from my mascara, which I will take care of right now. And I'm going to just lift that up towards the eyebrow because it helps to brighten up that whole area. Look how that just brightened up my eyes. Oh my word. Love that color. So pretty. Such a versatile palette. So good. Yes, they're going to have to pry it from my cold dead hands. I have my favorite lipsticks. I have my favorite lip glosses, which you'll see in a second. And I do have my favorite lip liner. However, this is from Essence. This is uh, one that I believe they're probably going to be discontinuing. You can only get it on the Essence website. I ordered 10. That's how much I love this. This is called Sucker for Gray. It's a very cool toned mauve. I can't find cool tones anywhere so for me to find this cool tone in this color of kind of a pinky mauve color has been my favorite and it hugs the the lips i can draw a little bit outside the line and it's beautiful so i can't draw this line and talk or do it and not look so i'm gonna do it i'll be right back with you very 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 favorite lipsticks of all time are the Maybellines. They're so good. I'm going to wear two today. I'm going to wear a really deep dark purple. The first one is Mauve It Up. That's that dark color that I have on. And then this one is called Rose Embrace, I think. Nope, it's called Born With It. I have Rose Embrace, but this is Born With It. And I'm just going to put that right in the middle there. That creates a stunning ombre look. And then for the end, I'm going in with the Keep It Full Plump Lip Gloss. And this one is in Moonlight. Love this from Milani. It's so good. I'm just going to put it in the middle to plump my pout. Super, super pillowy. The best lip gloss at the drugstore I have ever found. Well, what am I saying? Best lip gloss I've ever found. I love it over all the high-end ones that I have. It has that little bit of a cooling effect. If you just, it makes you look juicy. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and it doesn't bleed out or anything like that. Neither does the lipsticks. I just love them. Now, lastly, I told you I was gonna show you the powder. This is the powder from Becca. 
Becca is going out of business if some of you don't know. I am really crushed about that. But this powder they just barely came out with this year. And so I was just like, holy smokes, how in the world am I going to live without that powder? I bought backups instantly. This is their Light Illusion Powder, I'm sorry, Light Shifter Finishing Veil. This is a powder like I've never found before and I probably never will find it again. This powder is super airy, super light. It is, it's like nothing is there. Just absolutely nothing is there. You can see that I pick it up a little bit, but you can also see that as I run it down the finger, look at the brightness it brings. This comes in a bunch of different shades. It is it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And what I love about it is if I do have areas, I'm picking up a lot. I'm going to pick up a lot and I'm going to show you what this does. When you go into areas, you look really close at your face and you look at areas that you feel like you have super big pores. This will take those pores and do away with them. I'm not kidding. This powder is like some next level, beautiful, beautiful powder. This is an It Brush by Ulta. I get a lot of questions about that every time I use it. I will make sure that I link it for you below. But anyway, this one is just, the powder is just phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. When I'm done, I feel like I have a little bit of light to my face, but at the same time, I don't feel like I've got powder on it all. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like there's anything there. It is phenomenal. And I urge you that if you have not tried it yet and you've been looking for a powder, yes, I know it's spendy for this, but you're gonna have this for a long time. It's not gonna be like the Charlotte Tilbury that goes away really quick and people say they hit pan on. I mean, I've been digging at this ever since I got it like six weeks ago, maybe eight weeks ago. I dig it like that with my powder brush like that every single time. It doesn't even have a dent in it yet. It's wearing away beautifully as far as that goes. And you get just a slight amount. I mean, you could build on this powder forever. I'm not one that likes powder. As a matter of fact, I don't like powder at all, but this is not like any powder I've ever seen. This is a beyond powder powder, something like that. That's what they should have called it. All right, for today, that is the makeup that they'll have to pry out of my cold dead hands in order to get me not to use it anymore. This is the finished look. I hope that you did enjoy seeing me put it on. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy all of those things. Thank you so much for being a part of my day. Do you have a product in your makeup arsenal that you know that you will never ever be without? I'd love to hear that from you in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much. I love you very much. Please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, and I will catch you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.